February the 8th, 2017. Yep. World is on its last lifeline. Japan's not going to give up. You're going to have to fight for it. You got what it takes to go up against the big shot nuclear industry. They got a billion dollars to crush you with every day of the week. They got thousands of little stooges, mass murderers to come out and lie and manipulate you and they all got the biggest platforms Sharp looking, good looking young people, healthy, lots of money to throw around, not a worry in the world. Outside, of, you're gonna find out what they're really like and that they're monsters sent here to destroy the other 8 million species on this planet. Think about these buildings. No, you're not having an illusion. They're both 190 feet high, but they're gone. All the reactors, even though Unit 2 and Unit 1 still kind of look like they're intact, they're actually destroyed, no different than what you're looking at then. You won't get inside of those, any of those reactors for till the end of time, till the very end of time. Nobody will ever walk in these buildings without dying shortly after, if not immediately, which is what... We have begged this planet to understand. I just want to get a basic understanding of what's going on here, what the actual story is. This is Reactor 3. It's two million times worse than any other reactor on the planet, and it doesn't exist. The red depictions are reactor cores 10 years of storage or up to 20, 30 years of storage in those pools right above, right alongside the reactors and right above the reactor, but yet they're missing in the buildings over there. That's reactor four. Now for six years, six years, all the lawyers have been assembled and given their orders to come out and manipulate you, to, to deceive you. See, I knew there was something wrong with that. Let's talk about some of these lawyers in particular, and these lies and these manipulations, including over the last couple of days, we're seeing some uh, pretty startling things show up. Uh, this picture and the picture behind me shouldn't exist. They really, truly shouldn't exist. They're the tsunami fallout. And they have been exploited. They've been showing up in the last couple of days relentlessly in context with another event in Japan at the reactors. Northern Hemisphere in great danger. Radiation spikes to unimaginable levels. Headlines, right? Yeah, 10,000 views here, 7,000 views there. Really something with the fake pictures. The time bomb, some of this is innocent, but some of it is not. Those pictures are not accurate or pictures of radioactive fallout. And for six years, whenever a story comes out about radioactive fallout, this floods the media like it has in the last couple of days. This is the deception on purpose for a lot, but some people are naive. But at this stage, how can you possibly be naive? How can you be naive at this stage? Fushima radiation. Now there's headlines out there that the reactor is gonna collapse into the ocean on purpose, headlines to come out with stories then to crush anybody worried about it. Ah, oh, it's just a bunch of lies. 
2013 James Corbett, we're going to cover a few minutes of this clip. James Corbett is an extremely popular blogger, allegedly, but he's actually CSIS, Canadian Secret Intelligence Services. Uh, there's something going on there, obviously. He's not able to get away with the things he's doing without help from these people. There's been a couple of um, maps. Now, this is an interview. Now, I'm not saying legalized freedom is bad. I'm just saying James Corbett uh, interview from 2013. Listen to what he's talking about. Fukushima Update is his website. And he's going to make some interesting references. But they're... Um, let me get set up. Okay, here we go. There's been a couple of um, maps doing the rounds that allegedly showed the... Which are the maps I just showed you, yeah? Keep going. ...spread of radiation from Fukushima and how that was going across the ocean towards the west coast of the US turned out to be not strictly accurate because it was basically representing something else, not radiation. What's the best information you have or you've seen uh, regarding where this radiation has actually gotten to at this stage? You're exactly right about that. I should tell people about that. There, there has been a, at least one map that I know of from the NOAA in the United States that was spread around quite widely online, and I must admit, even ended up on my FukushimaUpdate.com, not as an on my FukushimaUpdate.com. On my FukushimaUpdate.com. Did you hear those words? Let's play that again. Seen. Uh, regarding where this radiation has actually gotten to at this stage? You're exactly right about that. I should tell people about that. There there has been a, at least one map that I know of from the NOAA in the United States that was spread. Now, this is 2013. We're talking about that yellow map to your left hand quite side. widely online, and I must admit, even ended up on my FukushimaUpdate.com. Not it sounds like he's apologizing, doesn't it? Not as an a main illustrative uh, type of map that was used as the body of a text, but was used to illustrate a text, which is is um, in error. It was showing the, the actual uh, spread of the tsunami that followed the 311 earthquake. It was not showing the spread of the radiation. Right, and that's Noah's map. Now here's Noah's map. There's actually a map out there, right, that he could have referred to and that existed when he was doing that talking. And this is the map of the radioactive fallout, not through the ocean, but it does obviously fall into the ocean, but it's the radioactive fallout from dispersals from the Japan reactors. For some reason, he doesn't um, talk about this. All he talks about, we'll get to it, I just got to adjust that. Here we go. And it was widely um, posted online as displaying that so that was in error and uh, i think that caused a lot of consternation that didn't need to be caused well no it didn't need to be caused because the follow was real right the follow was real james you know it was real you're not stupid you're not naive you're not gullible you're not a dummy you're not a moron you're not incapable of looking up noah's actual follow maps are you james um, but having said that, uh, there have been studies that have shown that radiation um, from Fukushima has ended up in... Now, not this maps, but fish, in fish. Um, fish. Off the west coast of North America. Um, now, think about what he just said to you, right? Instead of saying, hey, yeah, there's maps showing, right, from the Norwegian Institute of Air Research, for instance, showing the fallout, you could look at... He could have had up on his site. He didn't. He could have said it rose five miles up in the air, according to Europe, uh, European, or the Deutsche press. No, didn't do that. He could have come out and said, hey, we know uh, incredible increase in cancers, not just for Japan, but North America, because we know that it came over here through natural processes, through air pollution, Right? He could have come out and said Japan simulation shows how radioactivity is spread around the world. Japan has already come out with models. He could have done that. Fukushima Daiichi plant. The simulation was created. Now he's got a fucking site that's supposed to worry you. 
I screwed that up. A computer simulation shows how radioactivity is spread around the world from the disabled Fukushima Daiichi plant. Warn you. The simulation was created by a group of researchers of, at the University of Tokyo and Kyushu University and released on Wednesday. There's the, ch the simulation is based on the scenario in which contaminated air was vented from the disabled number two reactor building on March 14th, three days after the massive earthquake and tsunami. Computer images showed the radioactive material was lifted 5,000 meters into the air. It was then carried by westerly winds and spread over the Pacific Ocean. The now he jumped past all of that and right to fish. He jumped right through all of those hoops, pretend they don't exist, all the studies on the natural dust and forest fires and automobile pollution doesn't exist. He jumped right through all of that. He ignored the Norwegian Institute for Air Research. He ignored all the updates and the information available to everybody. Plume stretched 4,800 miles across the ocean. Uh, non-stop, right? We have Canada sharp features. James Coward uh, ignored all of this. All of these got ignored. He, he ignored Swiss. But what he done was he come out and manipulated everybody. Uh, uh, we're not talking about large amounts of radiation, but we are talking about detectable amounts that um, that basically scientists say must have come from uh, Fukushima because of the, the, the content of that's large amounts. It's only based upon two days releases from a single reactor. It's not based upon the actual meltdowns. But see, there's something really dark going on here that we have to flush out today, that we have to talk about, that we have to confront, that we got to deal with, that we got to root the, the out. makeup of the radiation. Unfortunately, I'm no scientist, so I pretty much have to take what they're saying at face value. But uh, but at that's not what you've done. Any other subject, you went out and you researched it and put it together and compiled it and shared it with everybody, allegedly, yeah? That's what you do all the time, but you can't do it here. Even those two years after when you shot that video. At any rate, the reports are up on FukushimaUpdate.com for those who are interested in that. FukushimaUpdates.com for those who are interested. Not, here's the documentation, here's the data, you got to see it, right? Get out there and stop everybody for saying these maps are real. Honey, show them the fake one, James guy. Uh, and probably the easiest way to find find them uh in the right hand column of fukushimaupdate.com there's a right fukushimaupdate.com there's three times three times one of them was my fukushimaupdate.com site which is full of propaganda which is full of the propagandas which are full of lawyers talking about bananas and potato chips and walking in sunshine right his whole site is full of those kinds of people that are manipulating with eating a banana lies and radiation is everywhere and radiation is good for you. Anybody says that is mentally insane in context of man-made nuclear radiation. Anybody says any of these connotations are despicable, unbelievable, horrifically deceptive people. Tags section, which has all of the, the main tags that, that uh, articles are sorted under, and one of them is ocean contamination. And there you can find out all the latest on the various uh, stories to do with the, the ocean contamination and how far it's spread. But at any rate, I mean, we, we can physically see that the, uh, the debris from the 311 earthquake has already... Yeah, but we got plumes already. We know the plumes are going to come across. We know what they got here. The fallout was a thousand times what they claim is acceptable limits. And there's no such thing as an acceptable limit because we know every dog died in every study. We're in real trouble. We're in real trouble. We got to have a conversation about this without the lying. Uh, Fukushima airborne plumes cause significant disposition of radioactivity over North America. But get a load of what James... Fact, uh, as early as, I believe, early 2012 was already washing up on the shores of North America. So it's, uh, it's it certainly had more than enough time for the, the radiation to start. So he alludes to it. That makes him seem like a normal good guy or somebody who's confused. But he's not confused. He's extremely articulating in his manipulations. To North America, but you can't do what he's doing without being articulated in the subject and working your way around the truth. 
everything he does is working his way around the truth. I'll Obviously, explain we're it to talking you. about it to well. You. I don't want to say relatively small, but compared to the the size of the the Pacific Ocean, um, right? Compared to the size of the Pacific Ocean. Okay. Um, Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. Let's just challenge that lie. I'm going to zoom ahead. This is a 40-day model from Noah. He didn't mind showing you that one, but he doesn't bother to tell you that exists or even show it to you. So it's covering the entire Pacific and North America. Everything that's, it's like a snowstorm, invisible snowstorm, but it's all the way to the ocean floor, all the way to the upper and lower troposphere. And it's completely, North America is completely covered. It's only based upon a single reactor. It's not based upon the multiple meltdowns extremely deceptive what he's got done what james is doing i'm flashing ahead this is a 40-day model let's play the rest not, of his not the types of radiation that i think would be an immediate health concern so immediate is another way to lie to you because radiation and small and what we call small doses you'll still get cancer but cancer is the last one to show up it takes 10 20 30 40 50 years to manifest diagnose but there's 1,800 diseases, illnesses, autoimmune deficiencies will show up before cancer. Alzheimer's, dementia, autism, heart, liver, lung, respiratory, pituitary, adrenaline. But diabetes will show up right away. And leukemia is breast cancer, six times more breast cancer anywhere near a nuclear power plant. But what a deception that man is playing. Exactly right, exactly right. And and it is, uh, again, it is the type of thing that is that has been ingrained certainly through a, a generation that was kind of shell-shocked during the Cold War into constantly expecting the end of the world through nuclear warfare. We have been subjected to, I think, a lot of very scary propaganda about about radiation and, and what it is. And I think we have to have a more nuanced understanding of what radiation even is and the fact that we are constantly surrounded by it in various forms and in various... Uh... What is he talking about? We're talking about man-made radiation. The stuff around us is not actual emitters. Not, you can't have a chain reaction or make a dirty bomb out of potassium-40 or rubidium or any of the natural uh, radio alleged... Like, the isotopes we make are directly from uranium. We take 238, create the 235, plutonium 239, fission products, have a chain reaction, and then we create thousands and thousands and thousands of radioactive isotopes as a byproduct. Just let me touch on that, because I know how complicated that can be for people. Dirt back to this one, where we can see it. So, plutonium is man-made. The curium acts just like the plutonium. All these daughter isotopes are the decay chain. Yeah? And these, these are very nasty. These are just a tiny, tiny fraction of what's actually coming out of the chain reaction. Now, we know it's an extinction event. This is me out on the coastline of British Columbia, Canada on a 260-day expedition doing species counts now they're all me everything you see there is all dana it's just to illustrate it didn't matter if we filled the beach up with people you still won't find the species that are supposed to be there let me let me give you a good example like we've done the whole coastline of canada i don't want to digress from what i'm trying to do here today but th let's just touch that story for one second Right? They're right across from Japan. The plume comes straight over to North America. We're straight across from it. It takes three days, but it jet streams. And we know the jet streams are real. We got the models from all the major... And we'll show you some more of them coming up in a second. Here's another little model coming up very quick so you can wrap your mind around it, maybe. Right? This is another model of just from one reactor. As It never stopped coming editor, basically, but... This is a model of the coastline of Canada with these arrows of where I went out and done species counts. And we know how many species are there. There's hundreds and hundreds of universities have studied this coastline. These are the highly visible species we're looking for on these expeditions. Okay. I don't know how many times I almost died on these expeditions, washed up on 
islands in the middle of the night and hurricanes. I went to hell and I still haven't made it back, I don't think. I've been, when I came ashore, I was arrested and vilified and demonized, attacked and smeared, marginalized because I looked for the species because I have 14,000 hours in the ocean as a commercial diver, spent my whole life on the ocean. I'm not some walk away type guy. I understand what's going on with the boat oceans here in Canada extensively. And so we know the disposition throughout Canada was non-stop. Let's keep going with the story today and get back on track here with the split screen. Let's bring that back in. And Exactly right, exactly right. And and it is, uh, again, it is the type of thing that is that has been ingrained certainly through a, a generation that was kind of shell-shocked during the Cold War into constantly expecting the end of the world through nuclear warfare. We have been subjected to, I think, a lot of very scary propaganda about about radiation and and what it what do you mean propaganda what the fuck is he talking about scary propaganda about radiation dr raymond gilmetti studies from loveless respiratory research institute he's got 94 studies on dogs this one 144 dogs every day every dog was dead within five years multiple tumors they died vicious deaths this never stopped in every study curium isotopes which are the major byproduct in the radiated fuel rods which were stored on top of the reactors i can go to study after study after study where all the animals died throughout history for 70 years but yet people like james colbert and them will tell you it's like a banana or a potato chip or walking in sunshine like he's was alluding to and that's yeah, not and so i think we Exactly, it is, and I think we have to have a more nuanced understanding of what radiation even is, and the fact that we are constantly surrounded by it in various forms and in various uh, quantities. So I think we have to put radiation risks in a reasonable perspective. Now he's alluding to natural radiation by doing that. This is what they always say, right? To deceive people for seventy years, manipulate you. But having said that, of course, I don't think we can simply rely on government pronouncements of. See what I mean? Safety of the Fukushima situation. Listen, this guy is dangerous, needs to be held accountable. Like, he needs to be ostracized from the community, period, forever. Like, we can't physically do something to him because that's not how we work. But we can ostracize him. Like, in a real world, he would be prosecuted and hugged publicly as a traitor for sedition. Right? Because that's what he's doing, is sedition. Here you can see him a couple of years later. Well, not a couple of years later. So this one was the two days after the 2014 anniversary. Now remember the one where he was making fun of the yellow map, right? It was 2013. Listen to him now. All this time later, right? He went from 2013 to 2014. Now let's hear what he got to but of say. Of course, I, I think most people who are listening to this conversation around the world probably aren't interested in all of this um, as it affects Japan generally. They're probably interested in how this affects them and the uh, the idea that there is this radioactive death cloud shrouding the planet that is going to fry us and incinerate us all in the next few years, um, which again is an idea that has taken off. That's not how radiation generally works. It takes 10, 20, 30 years to manifest into a cancer. Your body is attacking it with white blood cells, right? And so cancer sequesters in your muscles, your organs, your bones. White blood cells are sent out to attack it for decades, and they build a sarcophagus, a tumor around it. Then you get diagnosed as cancer, yeah? But all the diseases like heart and liver and lung and respiratory, pituitary, adrenaline, right? Diabetes, Alzheimer's, dementia shows up before cancers, right? That's the problem. On a lot of prominence in the alternative media in recent years. And uh, I... James, haven't you seen the meme on Facebook with the yellow scribbles all over the ocean? <laughs> um... That proves... Right, now listen to just what they've done. Let me cut the music on this one. Look what he's doing now. Now they're out there. Now we hear him blow up laughing. This is a year later when he said it accidentally ended up on my site. But now listen to what he says. Yeah. Well, if you're referring to the uh, the the chart that gets thrown around, that's the NOAA chart of the um... radiation doesn't hit land and stop. This is uh, Ryan Dawson 
a video. Now, Ryan is a despicable, anti-human little monster. These are the actual models of the radioactive fallout, right? Now, Noah did put out that model. Let's go back up and hit that Noah model one more time, right? Both of these are Noah's models. One is the tsunami. The other one is the radioactive fallout, right? And so that model was available. Let me fix that. Cause, uh, that's not helping shit, Dana. Make it smaller. Don't fucking roll it, Dana. Make it... Jesus! Throw your shit, Dana, and get it over with. Well, it's hard. You can't... You have to do this on the floor to make this work, unfortunately. I don't have a big shot team of people or anybody. I'm me. I'm just Dana. I'm a nobody. I'm an irrelevant nobody. I get that. I understand that. I'm nobody. I don't have anything... But I'm able to come out and make these videos. I'm able to get out on the ocean and research it. I'm able to pull off these little things to help people understand it. I'm able to come out and dissect it because I'm an expert on this topic. With the, yeah, the wave heights from the tsunami itself, which was thrown around. Both of these are Noah's. Right? They showed you one, like the one above me, which is fake, but they don't show you the other and, one. Uh, and used as an example of, uh, presumably, I guess, the idea was that... This, this is what you're doing. Look the fake. spread of the radiation from the disaster. This is about demonizing anybody and then making them, you know, saying, oh, they're kooky, they're, they think it's the yellow stuff, but not coming out and showing you the actual dispositions, right? Not coming out and showing you the actual companies or institutions that have come out and model it. No, don't show you that. Why show you that? Come out and make fun of you. Um, which looked very menacing indeed if people took it that way. But of course, that's not what it was about. It was about wave heights. So, um, I, I, yes, I mean, that's just one symptom of a kind of a greater disease that I think has uh, swept around the globe, which is... I was calling it a disease to talk about it. By the way, there was uh, around 4,000 barrels of depleted uranium burnt at this one. This is why it just kept showing up in the media. Here they are making fun of it, though. See? Hold up. Ryan Dawson. And, um, and, and James Colbert. Hype surrounding. Like, this has to stop. These people have to lose all their credibility. They're up on YouTube with hundreds of thousands of subscribers, and they're fucking over everybody like me out there with, with what they're doing. People are going there looking for information and then coming to my site and repeating what these fucking lawyers are saying. Because they figure, well, James got a couple of hundred, a hundred thousand subscribers, Danny. He wouldn't lie. Somebody would have called him out. I fucking call him out repeatedly with the evidence, with the evidence. Unimaginable amount of work. Unbelievable amount of energy and time to put all of it together. No one gives a fuck. The, 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 the radioactive release, which is not something that I think is not a concern of any sort. But I think that the what this has shown is that the public's understanding of radiation, how it works, what the dangers are, what kinds of elements are dangerous and in what way they are dangerous, how they're likely to enter any given ecosystem, um, how we can test for them, et cetera, et cetera. It has really shown the uh, the public's massive ignorance on these issues. Now it showed your ignorance because you don't provide it. You make fun of everybody that's even trying to have a conversation rather than say, hey, you know, that one was fake. Here's the real one. Rather than do something simple, something so straightforward. Which is what you're supposed to do. Which is why people are supposed to go to you. Which is what you don't do, in this case, for some reason. And uh, it's been... That's murder. And really an eye-opener for me, because... Uh, Beyond I ignorance, false confidence. Because they don't know... He's saying, like, because people don't know these other ones exist, therefore they're fucking idiots. That's what Ryan just said. Know that they yes. Know. They think they do know when they don't know. I know Ryan's a despicable, disgusting, little fucking manipulative tool. And the other dangerous part is the more the alarmists go around saying these things. So you're saying a Norwegian Institute for Air Research, the universities right there, Kyoto. Let me just make that smaller for you. These fucking universities. Let me fix that. These are lying. They're all lying and only you are telling the truth. Yeah. That's what Ryan is telling people. Things and they get dismissed and debunked. You have this uh, possibility of sort of the baby out with the bathwater. So people hear that enough times and dismiss it. But then when there is an actual problem, they just group that in and go, oh, that's nothing. They always lie. And, and they shouldn't be doing that. 
Well, that that's exactly right because there I, again there are real risks to this, but I, I think you're right when we when there is that boy that cried wolf scenario where where for example I'm sure you saw that um, story that creeped up in December where there was um, some footage the TEPCO has um, uh, live feeds of what's happening at the plant and uh, there was some footage of some wafts of steam that came from reactor three that, that all year. Exactly. Some this wafts was, of steam the, uh, the... that came from Reactor 3. Let's go find Reactor 3. That's Reactor 4. That's your fake in the interior of it. Hang on, I'll find Reactor 3. But I thought it was all on Reactor 4. Dana, hang on. Just hang on, I'll go find Reactor 3 for us very quick. Reactor 3, boom. So that's Reactor 3. Let's make that a bit bigger for everybody. Right, it was at 190 foot. He says, oh, there was wafts of steam coming out of there and everybody was freaking out because wave, wafers of steam was coming out. This is what he was just starting. Unit 3 is 2 million times worse than any current reactor on our planet. Any current reactor on our planet. Do you actually fucking understand how much real trouble we're in? And we're in this trouble because we're not allowed to talk about Part of it. the story that didn't get picked up on. Debunking Reactor 3 Steam Alarmist. This is what Ryan linked to. This, this is their video behind me. What they're doing in the background when they're putting out their talk. But that's, they don't show you Reactor 3, right? They, they make fun of you, see? It had been doing that. Uh, they call you alarmist, but if you look at the fucking building, how is that being alarmist? Let's look at it. How is looking at that destroyed reactor that's supposed to be the same height as this building, right? Where the fuel pools are up high in the buildings, reactor cores, and the reactor goes straight up to center. When you look at number three, it's pretty obvious the reactor core... And the fuel pools full of reactor cores are fucking gone. Right? This is why we're in so much trouble. Because nobody will call out these fucking lawyers. And then people like me who don't have the ability to reach out. Don't have the money to come out and bludgeon these fucking people with. Don't have any fucking... Any kind of support like these pricks are getting all the time are able to come out and fucking wreck our only chance for survival. I believe the first one was picked up in June or something like uh, like that. So this was nothing new, but it was new, I guess, to whoever decided to report on this, which uh, the main outlet that I saw is the Whoever decided the to report on it? Whoever decided to report on a destroyed fucking reactor with smoke coming out of it and said, hey, what's going on? They're a bad person, James. Right? Because no one's going to call him out. He got away with that conversation since 2014, and this is 2017. And if I didn't come out and fucking call him out for it right now, and if you don't call him out for it, you're a fucking traitor. Period. The active steam that was going to engulf the United States um, was actually an outfit that I won't name by name to avoid giving them any undue Which was me. It was me. Attention. He's but, referring uh, to starfish in California, James. Oh uh, yes, well apparently so. No, uh, but this was an outfit that uh, that was founded by a quote unquote white supremacist who was also an FBI informant. So oh, I remember what they got done there, right? They brought in one of their throwaways, right, and used that to smear everybody. Oh, you must be a white supremacist if you read that shit. Like it's unfucking believable. They couldn't bring in a map. They couldn't bring in. You know, the Norwegian Institutes or Noah's actual fucking map of the fallout or Japan's maps of fallout. No, they got to go that fucking road. That should give you an example of, of who is, you know, circulating these types of rumors. But, um, but it. So, white supreme is, yeah. See how you just got fucked. You see how they just fucked you at your ability now to come out and say, wait a second. Back then when this happened. Because they don't show you a picture of Reactor 3, right? They just come out and lay all these fucking smears over everybody. 
This is, and they're still in fucking business on YouTube right now, getting thousands of views every day. Activist posts are shoving them up there. David Icke.com keeps shoving James Colbert, Ryan Dawson up there. All the big fucking sites out there are pumping them out there every time they open their yaps. They're the biggest fucking liars out there. And look what they got done to us. Demonizing anybody who said, hey, I think that fucking billing over there could be an issue. I don't think they're telling them it's everything. Oh, you're a white supremacist. Do you get how dangerous this is? It has to stop. We got to stop this kind of fucking nonsense from happening to us. We got to end people like James and Ryan Dawson's ability to, to keep doing what they're doing. We have to make a fucking stand on this planet for truth. We can't keep giving the lawyers... And manipulators a free fucking ride every time they open their pie holes. Exactly right. So this was suddenly picked up and linked to all sorts of things, including, as you say, starfish uh, wasting disease and and these other phenomena that are happening in the in the ocean. Now he's saying that right now he flips to the ocean. Oh, there's nothing wrong with the fucking ocean. This is this is bullshit and was linked over there and there's nothing going on. Options right now. And uh, so, for example, on FukushimaUpdate.com. Right, E&E &E News is not news. Really? And all they do is link over to the original story. They don't write any articles. You take a paragraph. They're just an aggregator, right? But they're aggregating the stuff of Fukushima where people can go look shit up. And he fucking hates E&E &E News. But E&E &E News is just no different than any other news except they're not lying. They're not like you. They're not blogging. They're not after making shit up like you are. James, sir, you fucking little prick. For example, on FukushimaUpdate.com, I posted... Prick. FukushimaUpdate.com. This is 2014. Not the one where he said it three times before from 2013. 2014, time about Fukushima Update. Right. Melting starfish along the west coast prompts Fukushima fears. Right, where they manipulate the fuck out of everybody. The, the debunkings of that. For example, the starfish one in... Debunking in particular was a phenomenon that had started and was first noted, I believe, in 2008 and was documented in. Right. It was noted in a little tiny spot where, where there was probably nuclear waste. Yeah. So James and Ryan Dawson are uh, unbelievable. Where's he too? He puts up this stupid fucking picture. They're pretty little boys, eh? Yeah, they're pretty boys. Especially Roy Dawson, right? He's a real pretty boy. Yeah, Roy is. He's a little worm, man. I'm looking for a picture of Roy. I know he's got pictures of himself here. I just can't find it. ANC. There he is. He knows nothing about nuclear, but comes out and demonizes anybody that talks about it. And got a lot of followers, got a lot of traction, have infiltrated the 911 movement with his lies and manipulations, the same as he's doing for Fukushima. Same fucking thing James Colbert is doing, right? James Colbert is doing the same thing. These people are manipulating you. You have to fucking get in their faces and make them rethink their fucking future courses, right? Because they're not going to change without you prompting them. We got to end this reign of terror that they reigned upon us. We have to re undo what they got done to us. We have to hold them accountable. We have to contact legally, legalizefreedom.com and inform them that James had manipulated them during that stream and get him to come out and, re and redact what James had done to help the people that were fucked up because James lied to them and denied them the ability to defend themselves. Right, if you go over to Fukushima.com, Fukushima Update, rather, dot com, right now, let's move myself out of the way, right, in 2016, see the, down in the bottom right-hand corner, the dates, look at the dates, right on this front page right now, March the 16th, the anniversary is March the 11th, right? So these stories are all from last anniversary, Go, go backwards. Five years from it, right just before the anniversary 2016, locals still in the dark coming out trying to get street creds. Then uh, two days later, on March the 10th, the day before the anniversary, Fukushima contamination has slowed the fade. 
These are all very strategic lies that he's got here. March the 14th, five years later, fuel rods melted through containment. It doesn't stop there, right? Hang on. Radiation at Fukushima so high. Typical robots can't survive. But this is all, like, if you go and read, it's all manipulation. In particular, BBC Rang, again, he's got all kinds of lawyers there. This one is well known. This is uh, Ian Goddard from Goddard. Uh, journals, which is actually not a journal, and is not, it's he's the guy who's going to come out and tell you that Fukushima is like a banana on a potato chip endlessly. We've covered them over and over and over. One lie right after another lie. Now he's got the keys to James Sight. And so I have other people who I actually got a gag order against me from, so I can't even mention their name. They got keys to James Colbert Sight. And James is a player. Right? He's a killer. He's a killer. And that's what his site is. He hasn't even fucking updated it since last year. Except for the killers who wants to go in. But, right? He propagated out those pictures over and over and over. You've seen him and Ryan Dawson out demonizing everybody just in, yeah? Yeah, pretty low life. Pretty fucking, pretty despicable what he's got done. What these people are doing to our friends and our communities and our planet it's absolutely unforgivable it's untenable this is the unit three like, how hard is it for you to understand if they showed you a picture in their radio show or whatever it was they're doing that they posted ryan dawson if they showed you that picture then everything they're saying would fall apart instantly right but they show you fake pictures see Pretty fucking slick, isn't it? How they done it to you, right? They they manipulated you, right? They show you that fake one in the background, but there's all kinds of real ones out there. They could have showed you, but they didn't. Why not? Why wouldn't you show us the real fallout charts, right? Thirty million bags. Where do you think that came from? You think they pooped that out of their fucking urses or something down there? They're gonna burn it around the clock. On top of that. Not this stuff. That's the stuff they picked up. Incinerator is going to run around the clock burning nuclear, high contaminated waste. James and Brian Dawson, right, are very popular and they get a lot of traction and the main a bunch of people that are looking for this will run into them and walk away thinking there's no issues. It has to fucking Stop. These lawyers have to be fucking held accountable and called out. Do radio shows and call out these fuckers. Right? Send out flyers if you got to and call out these fuckers. The evidence is overwhelming. It's unfucking believable what they got done to us. And it's never going to stop unless we make it. We have to do it ourselves. We have to be the checks and balances every step of the fucking way from here on out. We got to displace all of these people and take it over ourselves. That seems daunting. That seems impossible. But you better make it fucking possible because the 8 million species on this planet are in desperation mode right fucking now and the human species are in heart attack mode right now. This is not going to stop on its own. It'll never stop unless we get together and stop this. Unless we organize. Unless we go after this entire fucking system and we will but we need to do it we only getting one kick at this can we got one kick at this fucking can that's it six years of ran boy we lost the major opportunities we've lost most of the planet already we don't under understand the significance because we're not able to find legitimate sources because they're all lawyers they're all fucking manipulating us well, the dog studies uh, definitively shows us that all the animals died, yeah? In every study. No exceptions. And they never try to cure the animals a single time. But now that we see the big numbers in Japan, now that we see everybody's now starting to come out and bang into Fukushima, we got to come out and help people understand the true narrative we gotta make them understand who the lawyers are so they don't end up going there yeah 
I mean, that's more important than everything put together. That is the only chance this planet has if we talk in terms of facts instead of these pricks, what they got done to us, like James Colbert, Ryan Dawson, and the rest of the fucking institutions, including the ones I can't talk about because of gag orders from the courthouses. I got to go see provincial court judge to talk about three fucking people in particular, for Christ's sakes. This is how fucking deadly this is. They're desperate to shut up. I'm the only fucking person out there banging into them. But at some point, this plan is going to go like it is right now in the last week, less than a week, last four or five days. Snopes is out there with a headline saying it's going to fall off. You know, it's a fake news that there's something going on. It's going to fall into the ocean. The reactors are going to fall into Fukushima. Reactors are going to fall into the ocean. This is what, like Snopes, the article's written by somebody who used to work for fucking Ross Story. Really? Somebody from Ross Story. Not a nuclear scientist, not an academic, but somebody from fucking Ross Story. Man, if you're in my community, I'd go right there right now with the camera and knock you the fuck out. Right fucking now. You get, that's a figure of speech. I'm going to knock the shit out of you with my tongue. Let's put it that way. It's okay for them to want to kill us, but we can't say they should be fucking executed by a legal system. You should make it legal to get rid of all nuclear, pro-nuclear on the fucking planet. They got to go. There's no shortcut. They got to go. All of them. Pro-nuke. Got to be wiped out. It's like a fucking plague. You can wipe them out by educating them, sending them to camps. All pro-nuclears. You should set up FEMA camps and send all the fucks in there. And then anybody won't give it up, send them into Fukushima. Get rid of them. They're not going to last 10 minutes at best. Send them right the fuck in into Unit 4, Unit 3, Unit 2, Unit 1. Yeah, it's not bad. Get the fuck in there. Go on. Shut up and get in there. Too late now, you little bitch. You little fucking mouthpiece. Get in there. That's what you should do with James Colbert and Ryan Dawson. You should definitely throw them to fucking Unit 3. Drop them right in there. Let us know how much steam is coming out of there, James, you little prick. You people are monsters. I'm not going to pretend you're not. I'm not going to say we should be fucking gloves kids with you. You're adults. You know what you're doing is a lie. You know what you're doing is a manipulation. You know what you're doing is a deception. You know what you're doing is trying to kill everybody. You're a vicious fucking thug. You're vicious thugs. Screaming for a fucking hour. Because we're talking about an extinction event, okay? It's not a game like James and Ryan Dawson is playing on you. This is not a game. This is the death of the Pacific Ocean and everything you covet. This is the end of pensions. This is the end of the future as we know it. Yeah, it's Armageddon. And every, you can't see it or smell it. And it's, and it's a genocide on purpose. And what you got to do is you got to get your shit together and fucking fight back. You got to go out and fucking drop everything nuclear you can find on the planet on its head immediately. Go pick it up and throw it on his head till the fucking bust open. Everybody out there that's pro-nuclear got to get in their face right now, right here, from here on out. Every minute of every day when they open their mouth, you got to get in their fucking faces, stay in their faces. You got to yell at them every fucking time they do it. You got to go to the universities where they got their degrees and get their degrees taken away from them. You got to legally come after these fuckers. Every time they open their mouth, every story, you got to get in there and beat them fucking silly. You got to make sure that you're not going to, they understand you're not taking it no more. You got to make sure they fucking get that the first time, not the 500th time, but the first time that they are scumbags and you fucking know it. You, at one point in the future, will do that. Whether I exist or not, that is where we will go in the near future. And I mean near. Because the death of the Pacific Ocean is not a fucking joke, not a game. It's not maybe, it's not if, it fucking already happened. And the reason we're in so much trouble is because people like me are not allowed to have a fucking voice 
without being demonized and smeared and vilified. And these pricks don't get a fucking word thrown their way. Oh, Dana, they probably just made a simple mistake. I would choke you to death right on the spot if you said that to my fucking face. Because I don't got time. I don't got the time. This planet don't got the time for games anymore. Time for games are gone. It's time to be serious or get out of the fucking way. Oof. Yeah, I get kind of cranky sometimes. You would too if you understood what's at stake. You, you would get it in a hurry if you understood what these fuckers have done to you with those lies. On purpose. That's the Discovery Channel doing that to you, look. Too fucking stupid to say, here's the model. Here's the real model, dummy. Right? Not that. But that. They're both Noah. One was the tsunami, and this one's the radioactive fallout. But not one of these fucking lying sacks of shit can come out and show you that. Right? James Colbert is not going to come out and say, right, that he's a manipulative flying fucker. Would you? You got to get in his face from here on out. There's no excuses. You've got all the evidence you could ever hope for in one package here today. Hugs for everybody. Take care, folks. And Elaine is working double time today in the comments section, our moderator. Hugs for everybody. Hi, Thomas Ackerman. You'll find Thomas's links below. Hello, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Remember, right? We're not here to play games. We're here. We're here to. We're the resistance. We're here to fucking push back. We're here to get in their faces. We're here to make Earth's last stand. And you should too. You should join in. You should fight with everything you got. If you got children. If you got. If you want a future. If you want. Don't want to see chaos. You don't want to see misery and agony. You better join us. You better learn how to fucking fight. You better get educated and up to date and up to speed. Because I can guarantee you these fuckers are going to lead you to the poison well. It's sure as fucking hell. Hugs for everybody. By the way, please donate if you can. They got everything. I got nothing. But I can do so much fucking damage if I got the opportunity. Take care, folks.